just finished putting the cabinet together. Uh, it's running Linux right now. Extremely simple, you just need three things. One is you need some kind of low powered computer. Um, I'm using an Intel Nook, it could be a Raspberry Pi, something similar. Uh, for retro games, you don't need anything high powered. Number two, you need a uh, control board to connect that computer to the built-in LCD panel and the speakers of the cabinet. And then number three, you need something to do something with the controls. So uh, the unit comes with this uh, circuit board that you can unscrew and remove. It's no longer needed. And uh, if you look at the LCD panel, this is the LCD panel. Uh, it has a model number here. Uh, so if you just search Amazon for that, you're gonna find something like this. This is a circuit board that as input takes HDMI, which carries both audio and video. And as output, it produces video to the LCD panel and audio via three and a half millimeter jack to the built-in speakers of the cabinet. It just plugs right in. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, the Intel Nook that I have, that could be any computer, uh, which produces HDMI output. And this one's running something called Bethesera Linux. It's a Linux distribution built specifically for arcade cabinets, very lightweight, very easy to use. And a big benefit of this is that, uh, for me personally, is that I can uh, connect to it remotely and manage the games library on the cabinet. And finally, you need to do something with the controls. There are buttons that the cabinet comes with. I'm not planning to use them. So uh, I think it's gonna be much simpler if I just got my own buttons. So I got this kit from Amazon. It comes with joysticks, buttons, some cabling. And uh, these circuit boards here, and I'm guessing the buttons connect via these cables to this. And then this has a USB port that I'm planning to plug into my Linux machine and do some button mapping and then be all done. Uh, just a maybe open question is around power. So this has a really handy on off switch right on the, uh, right on, uh, right on the cabinet. And I'd like to use that. So I still need to figure that out. Uh, I think I am planning to just keep the, uh, the Linux machine running in Hibernate at all times, which will give me faster boot times, and just have the button switch this uh, this circuit board on and off, which will give me very fast startup times. But uh, you can obviously do something like a, uh, a power relay, which allows you to shut the whole thing off, uh, but I, I don't know if that would be optimal for me. So that's pretty much it. Very, very simple.